Hi guys, so today I have started this video very bare faced. I've already moisturised, primed, put some oil on my skin so that it's really smooth because today I'm going to try out, now I don't know how much you can see, but it's called Conceal and Light Like a Pro and it's the new, well it's not new, it's Collections Colour Correcting Concealer. <laughs> As you can see I'm watching Friends in the background. So yeah. These are just all the shades. So you've got your two, well, these four here are just all your concealer shades. Then you've got a highlight, a green, a purple, and a yellow. So I'm just gonna test this out and see how much it works because, oh, itchy here. Because it is a bargain. I think it's like 319 or 419. So if it really works, then you guys can go out and buy it. So. Let's test this bad boy out. So the first shade I'm going to use is this pinkish kind of concealer here. And then mix a bit of the yellow just under my eyes so that I can correct the kind of like... They're a bit... I don't know what to call it. They're meant to help you brighten your face up. So let's see how that works. And I'm just going to zoom you guys in so you can see it a bit better. So I'm just going to use my finger to kind of warm it up and apply it under my eyes and then I'll use my Real Techniques blender to just blend it up. I'm going to say I've got eye cream underneath my eyes just because I felt like they were a bit dry so hopefully that doesn't affect the application of this just too much but hopefully it's okay so let's start blending the first pinky colour out. say that worked I don't know if you can see how much it did work the only problem is it's like you do need quite a lot of product and I'm hoping that that doesn't affect how your foundation will sit on your skin but I do have where is it I do have my skin Denavia setting spray so hopefully once I've color corrected before I put my foundation on that might keep it a bit I don't know like help the product move the move about a bit more so we'll just see I'm gonna go in with the yellow color here now so that is my under eyes all color corrected so I'm now just gonna go for this green shade here and that is just gonna get rid of any redness that is on my face so I'm mostly gonna do this around my nose my chin area is quite red and a little bit on my cheeks because they're a bit red and we'll see how it works so this is the green colour without being blended in and I'm going to blend in right now and we'll see how it turns out that half worked and that I need to put a second layer on so I'm just going to do that and I'll get back to you So the second layer really helped to really neutralise the redness in my face. I know you can still see the, the green a little bit, but I think that's actually meant to go when I put my foundation on. So now I'm going to try the purple and that's kind of just for like to counteract any sallowness in your skin, but I don't feel like I have any. I need to banish away dullness. Do you know what, I might put it on my eyelids because I feel like they're a bit dark around here. Like, So we'll try that. Put that in the corner of my eyes and I feel like that really worked. So I'm just gonna go and do my foundation and the rest of my makeup. And, no, I'll do my foundation and then I'll come back to you once that is done so that I can conceal after using one of these four shades. So I have just put foundation on and of course I use my L'Oreal True Match, it's like my favourite foundation ever. And I feel like my complexion is like really, really nice and my foundation went on over it really well. I don't know if you can see, like my skin just looks really smooth and it really worked. 
So after I turned the camera off and went and done my foundation, I actually used the Scandinavia Makeup Setting Spray and I think that really helped to really set everything in place and then allow me to put my foundation over the top without anything moving about. So now what I'm going to do is use concealer and just use it to highlight and conceal. So I feel like I want to go for the, the really pale one here just to brighten up the areas and use as a highlight and then I don't really have anywhere to conceal. I think I might use this kind of shade here, the one just above it, just to do my chin. So that's one area where I feel like it's still a bit red. So I'm going to do that and I'll come back to you. Guys, my face is all concealed and foundation is put on already so now I'm just going to do the rest of my face and I'll get back to you with my overall review so I'll see you in a second so guys as you can see I have finished off my makeup and I must admit I really did like that this palette I think it was amazing and for the price point you really can't go wrong so let me just research that price for you so it's a definite so, so this palette was $5.99 at Boots and it's now on offer for $3.99 so it is quite a bargain because you get like 8 different shades. The only thing is I do feel like they crease under my eyes just that little bit but for $5.99, $3.99 this is a good palette. I think as well like when I put the foundation and everything on top of it nothing slid around like as I said like it just creased just a tiny bit under my eyes but when I baked with my um, RCMA no colour powder it just got rid of it so I would recommend this I would review it I would recommend this and give this probably what would I give this Why do people have to be so loud? Probably a 4 out of 5 I'd say just because it did crease a little bit and if you've got dry skin it might not work just as well for you however I did put an oil on my skin today which was the vitamin E one by Superdrugs their own brand range so my skin does get dry around there and I think it really worked really well so if you guys really like this video thank you please like and subscribe down below and once i hit 100 i will be doing a giveaway so keep out keep looking for that and follow me on twitter because i'll probably be announcing it on there as well so i'll see you soon thank you bye